In my previous clip about Lumix cameras, I presented to you the G1, uh, the Lumix G1, the first uh, micro four thirds camera from Panasonic. And I mentioned that I got it uh, mainly because it came with this little uh, 12 to 32 Lumix uh, uh, pancake lens. So let's take a closer look at this little lens and see what it's all about. So the 12 to 32 um, Lumix lens from Panasonic. It's of course uh, designed to work with the micro four thirds uh, camera system. Um, it's mainly plastic, but uh, it's got a nice quality feel to it, even though it's fairly light. Now these things are quite expensive when uh, bought a standalone and still second-hand units fetch a quite a premium to my mind. Um, a fairly used one and a well-worn one is no cheaper than 100 euros or at least that's what I was able to find even on reputable uh, foreign sites not only in a small closed market like in Romania where I live. Uh, as you see this is slightly worn and the seller has disclosed that it was fixed at one point. I don't know what the defect was but he mentioned that it's uh, pretty difficult to open it up so it works fairly rough uh, at the beginning of its turning circle. But the, the lens itself works fairly nice and really I have no complaints. I spent 50 euros on this uh, Lumix G1 together with the lens that it came with, so I'm very, uh, I'm very pleased of the deal I got. I will not be keeping the camera, though I will be keeping this small lens as it's a great backup and allows me to uh, complement my 12 to 60 millimeter lens, which I normally use when filming. I also have a 25 millimeter. Uh, f1.7 Lumix lens. Uh, this came with my GH4. So there's not much to talk about the lens in terms of construction, build quality and general feel of the thing. Let's just mount it back into the camera and take another pic with it, show you what the results can be. So now it's set to the maximum zoom level of 32 millimeters and as you can see the uh, the aperture has dropped to uh, f5.6 so that means lower light conditions. Uh, sadly uh, this lens is only an autofocus model. It You cannot adjust the focus manually. So now it's set in the 32 millimeter uh, zoom position. Let's put it to 25 and compare it with my other Lumix lens right here. I wouldn't recommend it to everybody and it's not really um, a lens that can be used in any condition but as you can see it offers excellent performance uh, for uh, for its money so I don't know if you can see that subject separation is fairly decent the autofocus works there's no blurry um, there's no blurry uh, patches the detailing is quite nice in the picture and I didn't even fiddle around with the settings of this uh, camera so thanks for watching folks and remember I buy, own and collect quirky and useless tech stuff so you don't have to. In this case it's just an obsolete lens that might just be good for you. So see you in the next one. Bye bye.